Very exciting day today. Uh, we've taken over from the developer uh, the Athletes Village, the Olympic Village, um, and uh, we'll occupy it uh, right way through the Olympic and the Paralympic Games and then hand the keys back to the developer who uh, hopefully by then will have sold uh, most of them, if not all of them, uh, on to uh, the local community here. The village here is amazing. Uh, I think when the athletes start arriving here in July, they'll be absolutely thrilled. This is going to be a fantastic... I mean, 1,200 or so athletes and their trainers and coaches will, will live here. Um, they'll all be bringing their paraphernalia from their countries. There'll be flags hanging outside of all the windows. Um, they'll be sitting outside on the grass, listening to music and chilling out in between their training and their racing. Uh, so I think the atmosphere is just going to be electric. And uh, I know the town uh, of Weymouth is going to be buzzing too, not only because it's a very busy place in the summer, uh, but you know we could have up to 60,000 people here every day, um, some on the nose, some on the beach watching the big live site, uh, and some just soaking up the atmosphere. So it's going to be an electric place to be. Well, I think the whole games, and not just the village here, but the whole games has, uh, I think, has brought a lot to Weymouth and Portland. And, and I know for the locals it's been a bit of aggravation and a bit of disruption with transport and new roads and all those sorts of things. But, but afterwards, there's going to be a, a fantastic legacy. Here in the village, we've created a new community, a school. Uh, across the road, we've got a fantastic sailing academy and a new marina. Uh, the travel um, and, and transport infrastructure in, in Weymouth, I think, has been improved dramatically. Um, and I think the, uh, the community here will find that Weymouth and Portland has really been put on the worldwide map. This is where the Olympic Games was held in 2012, and three and a half billion people around the world are going to know about it. An extraordinary, extraordinary uh, uh, project. Well, thankfully for the last decade or so, um, uh, Britain of course rules the waves in sailing. <laughs> We've done well for the last um, 10 years or so. Uh, all the world championships leading up to these games have looked good for us. Um, I hope the home advantage, the waters that these guys know and love, uh, will, will pay dividends. The fact that there are thousands of spectators cheering them on, I'm sure will be a benefit. And I think we're going to do just fine. I think we'll do really well. We've got guys like Ben Ainsley that are coming up for his fourth gold medal and um, you know he is the most determined athlete. Forget sailors, he's the most determined athlete I've ever come across. So uh, uh, if Ben and the team uh, uh, can, uh, uh, can get anywhere close to reaching their potential here, uh, I know we'll, be, we'll have a sack full of medals.